I get to introduce you to the palatometer, how it works, and several areas of application. The palatometer is a visual feedback tool that shows tongue-to-palate contact during speech in real time. With hundreds of people using it, data shows that most graduate within months rather than years. In the picture on your computer screen, you see the palette view software on the monitor in the back, and in the front, you see the data link and the smart palette. The smart palette is a thin mouthpiece that minimizes the effect on speech clarity. The data link has a magnetic lanyard making it easy for you to put it on and take it off. The smart palette plugs into the top of the data link, and on the smart palette itself, you'll find 124 sensors, making it extremely accurate when measuring the tongue to palate contact during speech. Your two user palatometer system comes in a case like you see on your screen so that you can transport and protect your equipment. Let's go ahead and jump into the software and show how it works. I'm gonna launch the software and pop in my smart palate. On your screen, you see my tongue to palate contact. At the top, the two dots indicate lip closure, as in pop or mom. You can also produce any other sound and see it on your screen. Let's demonstrate a few. For example, er, s, little. For the first time, you can actually see the tongue to palate contact with a biofeedback tool. Let's go ahead and show you how you can quantify a student's accuracy when trying to produce a certain sound. In gold standard, the view that we're in right now, you can pull up a sound target. Let's pull up the sound R. The green dots on your screen are showing me where I should be lighting up the dots, or in other words, putting my tongue in my mouth to produce the sound R. I'm gonna hold the, the sound R for two seconds, and on the right side, it will give me a percent score for how accurately I produce the sound R. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So I made an R that was 95% accurate. That's pretty amazing. You'll find that most of your students are coming in and scoring anywhere between 0% and 50% accurate. 95% of neurotypical kids that come into your clinic and to your school will be able to graduate within 20 sessions or less and consistently score 80 to 100% accurate on their production. That's pretty amazing. Let's go ahead and show you how to apply this into a word. So I'm gonna have the letter or the word, uh, the, sorry, the sound R brought up here with my green circles. And then I'm gonna hold it for two seconds right as I'm saying the, the word read. Okay, so I'm gonna hold R for two seconds and finish that off with read, making it easy to apply this into standard sequence from a sound in isolation to a sound in a word. Let's go ahead and try it. Read, there it is, 98%. And so I went from a sound in isolation to a sound in a word. That's great for you to be able to show your student how well they're progressing is so fun. It's so engaging. It becomes a, uh, a game for them and they are able to compete against themselves and progress much faster when we can measure and quantify how well they're doing. Let's go ahead and show you another view in the palette view software. I'm gonna switch over to oral coordination. Oral coordination is a great way to assess muscle tone and coordination for a student that you're working with. Okay, so in this view, the purpose is to touch the green dots that appear on the palette view with the tip of your tongue. Most people can touch each circle within a second. And so let's go ahead and bring up five contacts. I've chosen five contacts here on the left. And once I press play, five green circles will randomly appear on the palette and I am supposed to touch those with the tip of my tongue. Okay, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna press play and give it a shot. That's really good. It's about a second per tongue target. Most kids, when they're coming in, take anywhere between 20 or more seconds to touch just five randomly appearing targets. This is another area where you can engage your students. They can race against their previous score. 
they can really orient themselves and, uh, and, and exceed their expectations. This is also a great way to get those students who are sometimes tough to open up or maybe they're tense. You can have them uh, race against you as the instructor, as the SLP. On the left, you can easily switch from speaker one to speaker two, and it brings up the, the second speaker, you as the instructor. And you can give this oral coordination a shot and then go back to speaker one and have your student attempt to beat your time. It's a lot of fun. And it's, in, it's incredible to see how well these kids pick this up. Okay, let's go to the final view. And this is the view of the entire palatometer where you have two palate views next to each other. On the left, you typically have the instructor or you as the SLP with your smart palate plugged in so that you can demonstrate proper articulation to your student here on the right side of the screen. At the bottom, you have a waveform. Which is, which is measuring the airflow as they're producing the sounds, the words, the sentences, etc. So this is very great because what you can do is you can model what is supposed to be proper articulation for a sound and then have your student attempt to replicate what you're producing. You can also bring up custom-made tongue targets. Again, we saw this before. These are green circles indicating where a red, an R sound should be produced, okay? The blue dots are indicating correct articulation and the orange dots are incorrect articulation. I'm going to attempt to make the sound R. Err, and I lit up the blue dots. That was a good production of the sound R. You can also have targets for uh, the sound S, L, and any other target that you want to custom make. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. To start off, you have more than 36 pre-programmed targets that we supply to you. But because every student's uh, sound production slightly varies, you have the ability to custom make a sound target. So let's go ahead and, and, and try that. I'm gonna clear this here, and I'm gonna make the sound for uh, the letter R, for example. Er, and as I'm making that sound, I can come up here to speaker one and then sound targets and capture as target. And I will capture my sound uh, production on the screen. Er, and you see the green circles that have captured that sound. Okay, and so what you can do here is bring this little box and name that whatever you'd like. In this case, I'm gonna name it R and I'm gonna press OK. Now this is gonna bring up a module where I can edit the tongue target, okay? So you'll notice as I drag my mouse, these green dots appear. And as I go over them again, they disappear. So you can easily customize the targets by clicking on the, the targets that you want to add or taking away the targets that you wanna take away. I'm going to save this tongue target and immediately, let's go ahead and close this, Immediately, it will appear above the student's palette view. And here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up this R. So there it is, the one that we just barely captured from our student's production, a custom-made R target for your student. That's wonderful. Let's say that you're having a hard time just catching a target during spontaneous speech or during practice. What you can do is come down to this waveform and record a certain word, a certain carrier phrase, and then play it back. And it not only records the waveform, but it also records the placement that takes place during that word or carrier phrase. I'm gonna press the red, the red circle and record a carrier phrase, Red Riding Hood. Okay, here we go. Red Riding Hood, Red Riding Hood. I'll stop it. And now I have a recording of my production for that carrier phrase. We can scroll through this recording and not only do we see the waveform at the bottom, but we also see the contacts up on the palette view. This is incredibly useful. As you record and play back, you can capture and listen to great production, okay? And so I've scrolled through to the beginning of the word red in my carrier phrase, Red Riding Hood. 
And this on the palette view is indicating where the R production sits on my palette. This is a good R production. So I'm gonna come up to speaker one and I'm gonna to come to capture as target. And there it is. It brings up this little box again. I name the target that I'm capturing. I press okay. And these are my targets, the green circles. And I save it. I close this module. And again, here above the palette view appears this tongue target. This is very useful because you can take a sound recording in the palette view software and capture a target so that you can use it in uh, future practice. Again, you can save sessions in the palette view software. You save the configuration of the palette view. You can also save any sound recordings, any custom made tongue targets, so that it's easy for you to go back and pick up where you left off with a client. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this recording and go back into the live view. Again, the visual feedback is incredibly useful and engaging for these clients. 95% of the neurotypical students who are using the palatometer are graduating in 20 sessions or less, and they have 80 to 100% accuracy with their production on a consistent basis. Let's go ahead and open up really quick a white paper. This white paper contains an abstract and several references to articles supporting the palatometer in fixing speech disorders. So EPG and palatometer use and treatment is the name of this article, this white paper. Let's scroll down and we'll see an abstract, but we'll also see different speech disorders. Here on the left, we see articulation and phonological disorders. And under this category, you'll find article references that support palatometry in speech therapy and how it has helped. You'll also find other speech disorders, accent uh, modification, uh, cleft palate, hearing impairment, cochlear implants, practice of speech, and many more. And these are articles under each speech disorder which support the palatometer helping fix that speech disorder. Nine out of 10 students who use the palatometer, whether they're autistic, whether they have cleft palate, whether they just have articulation and phonological disorders, will progress faster. We invite you to visit our website or contact us by phone or email. You can contact us on the phone by calling 877-710-6031, extension 708, or you can email us at info at completespeech.com.